Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick as I'm rocking the old school Iron Pigs hat to represent Lehigh Valley as we go into breaking down the Lehigh Valley Phantoms game. Let me put on this other light just for more lighting. Lehigh Valley Phantoms game against the Wilkesbury Scranton Baby Penguins today, who are very hot at 5 1, 0 oh, 1 to our 0 oh, 5 and 2 Phantoms. After dropping the game against the Syracuse Crunch, 3-2 to two and 5-2, to two, our Phantoms still have zero games this year, which is the main reason we're losing game, that they have not scored more than two goals, not the goaltending. I see, I understand uh, people's frustration in the team. I have the same frustrations. You're 0-5, oh, uh, you're not in a position you want to be in right now. You're at an 0-5-2 oh, record. But it's not on the goaltending. Maybe Ursan might have had one off game, which would have been the game he played against Utica, and he's going to have that because he's a rookie. And then Sandstrom really has only had an off couple of goals he's let in. Other than that, he's been really sharp. It's like quarterbacking in the NFL. If you're if our team's struggling, you try to always blame the quarterback first and foremost, whether it's their fault or not. For the Phantoms, it's the offense's fault, first and foremost. They haven't scored more than two damn goals the entire season. you got to get more output, and I'm sorry if I start <clears throat> excuse me, coughing because I've been sick today with my stomach and throat, but you have to get more output in order to win these games. You're not going to win a game unless if you have Dominic Hasek and Patrick Waugh in net consistently when you score two goals. So, like, that's not on the goaltending. That's on the offense. The first and foremost key of getting going for this Phantoms team is you got to get that offense going. It looked like it was getting going a bit and you were playing better in some halves, like Bob Rotruck talks about if you listen to the radio broadcast or in some periods. But that's not good enough. You have to get it going through the whole 60 minutes. It sounds like a broken record because that was the issue with the big club. Um, Obviously, the Flyers picked it up in the third yesterday, but... They've been a little bit better on that facet this year. Now it's come down to the Phantoms, and the Phantoms haven't played at all really this season a full 60 minutes yet, and they haven't even scored more than two goals. you got Jerry Mahew with three goals, and then I believe it's Wilman with two. That are the team leads right now. you got to get guys churning. you got to get guys in the positions to score. And with this new system, it seems like they're kind of slowly learning Ian LaPerriere's new system. And is a more aggressive system, which works well for players like Bunny, Sonia, and etc. But it seems like it's tiring out some of our faster guys, like the Jerry Mayhews, the Wilmans. And it seems like some of these guys aren't as sharp at the end of the game, just from my observation in the system we're playing. So we have to figure out a way to balance the aggressiveness that Ian LaPerriere uses compared to the way that it's kind of Scott Gordon, because he's a more experienced coach, went with the flow of the game and did his game plan more for that. Lappies just seems to always be more get in their face and be a little bit more aggressive where you can. That's all fine and dandy. You just need to pick your spots so we don't have these end of games where the Phantoms just kind of in the third don't bring what we really want or for the whole 60. They kind of seem to be getting more tired in the back half of that 60-minute stretch. So it's about figuring out how to use the system and balance the system, but it's mainly about figuring out how to get the goal scoring output going because otherwise these Phantoms are not going to get off the snide and be able to win a bunch of games in a row like they lost a bunch in a row to start this season if you can't get the goaltending, or not the goaltending, the scoring going for the goaltending is what I meant to say because the most goals our Phantoms have allowed is the five in the one game we have that was against Utica. So you've limited people to two goals, three goals against Hartford, three goals, four goals against Wilkes-Barre in that one game. I mean, you've limited teams to goal outputs minus five, the five goal game that Utica had that you could have been able to win the game if the Phantoms were producing to the level of the degree that they were able to do last year. Their offense is really dormant right now. And it's something that's been going on a hell of a lot longer than the Flyers having that goal drought that was only seven periods, and there's about 246 or whatever to do in that math in my head, periods in a season, which is not all that much. The Phantoms have scored a little bit, but they're in a much bigger goal drought because they can't get over two damn goals. So you got to be able to figure that out in order to beat this Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins team, but also in order to beat... Pretty much anybody on your AHL docket. You ain't beating any teams consistently if your goal output is two or less. Unless if your goaltender just has an absolutely hurrah game. And these guys have had that in a couple games. And the Phantoms just were not able to pick them up. Like against Wilkes-Barre and Hershey on the first week. And against Hartford, uh, we had a very good game 
in that game when it came to net mining as well for Felix or yeah for Felix Sandstrom when he made 38 saves on 40 shots so you got to pick up your goaltenders at some point I know it's easy to blame the goaltenders but it's not on them it's not on Ursan it's not on Sandstrom it's on the offense to get going and it's on the defensive system that Ian LaPeria defense to offense the aggressive system that we play more now and not the adjust with the flows of the game as in the more experienced coach of Scott Gordon last year who had a system but really adjusted well Lappy's a rookie it seemed like we kind of just keep pushing the same thing and it seems like at times guys are tiring out quickly from it and if it's not working you kind of have to fix it at a certain point they say if it ain't broke don't fix it well there's also an opposite of that if it is broke you're going to want to fix it so I'm expecting Ian LaPeria over time to kind of alternate the way that he's doing things a bit so people look a little bit more energized and have more spunk in the back half of games that they do in the first half and also just figure out a way to push the offense <clears throat> excuse me push the offense a little bit more in order to get some things going the keys to be able to get our first win tonight is score more than two goals keep having the goaltending that we've had throughout the season minus maybe the Utica Comets game and then continue to kind of build on other than that Utica comments game, the Phantoms, like Bob Rotruck have said as well, very well, is our defense has been looking gradually better playing in front of our netminders, especially as time has gone on. It's just we can't get the goal output going. So if that continues to happen and we get the goal output going, this team can go on a run like we've been on a big slump right now. But that's the big bugaboo. You got to get the goal scoring going, and that's not going to be easy against a very hot Wilkes-Barre Scranton team that is one of the best in the AHL to start this season, who of course have Pustinen, they have Robert, they got Zahorna, they got Poulin, uh, Lagare, um, so they got a bunch of guys, Hollander, so they got a bunch of guys you have to watch out for, Bjorkquist should put, so you have to watch out for all these guys. The Phantoms have to D up the best that they really have all season this year in order to be able to beat this hot Wilkes-Barre team, but also get the output, get the scoring going. You want to be able to pick your spots to push and really play aggressive like we have in Lappy system at times this year, but you can't do it full 60 because that's when we've seen in some of these games, it seems like the guys are gayest too much in the second half. So this has been a preview to the Wilkes-Barre Scram Penguins and Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Game. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, and go Phantoms. Let's win tonight. Peace out.